It's your boy, Tommy Miles, and I'm back here in Atlanta to address one of the city's biggest problems, finding love. And this time, get ready, because we about to shake things up. For the next 10 weeks, we will be bringing 20 singles together to find something real. Oh, she's so hypnotic. You a king, right? I most definitely am a king. Oh, OK. Looking for my queen. Well, I'm here to find love, Tommy. Yeah. Struggling, man. Throughout the journey, the men and women will eliminate each other till only three couples remain. I ain't coming up single. I'm coming up mingling. Hopefully, soulmates. <laughs> when you bless, you make me bless. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> it's time to find out if a new group of dynamic singles from Atlanta are truly ready to love. No, it took me some time to get to the place that you wanted me to be. Now I'm ready, I'm ready to love. I know you got the body, yeah. but go girl, get down, you got it. So bad, I know you're naughty. Yeah. Let's get this party started. One of the main reasons I'm not able to find love is because I'm flashy. I played professional football for a few years, and unfortunately, I attract the wrong type of women. A lot of thought pockets. I could smell a thought pocket a mile away. They don't even have to be in the microwave. It could still be frozen. No price on the tag. Uh, she got it like that. Yeah, she got it like that. The guys in Atlanta are different from the guys I met in the military. Hi. Hello. Reva, it's very nice to meet you. Reva, London. Yes. Pleasure to London. meet you. There's not a lot of commitment, integrity. Oh my God, I can kind of go on and on. <laughs> Hence me sitting here right now. I've been here now for uh, almost five years. Okay. I've dated about two two people. Clearly, I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how y'all doing? Good. Reva, it's nice to meet you. All right, Jimmy Jones. Jimmy Jones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. When it's time to stay your home, call Jimmy Jones. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a realtor. I'm Atlanta's top listing agent, okay? I got personality on 10. Confidence is the new sexy to me, you know what I mean? How you doing? So you I think both of y'all got the gift of gab. Well, you, you got the gift of beauty, so it don't matter. Jimmy Jones. <laughs> I'm ready to find love. I'm ready to find my queen. And, and built that JC Beyonce power couple, baby. Body and Clyde, where we at? I retired from the military. Yeah. Army star. Well, Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> OK, my bad, my bad. Thank you for serving our country, period. There you go. You know what there I mean? So, hey, hey, hey. Hi. Ow. Ow to you, too, honey. Georgia Ow. Peach. I'm going to meet you halfway. Mm. They say I'm a peach, so I wore peach. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> I see that. I'm a mom of two. I don't get out much, so I was ready to see the boys and play. Earthquake on the floor like a fall line. Don't stop, keep moving to the baseline. Hi, beautiful black people. Hey, I'm Baron. Hey, nice 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 when it comes to my career in dating, I make a lot of sacrifices. I am a uh, full-time stand-up comedian. Oh. So when you make people laugh, they shoulders move. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I make you pee a little bit. I make you pee a little, yeah. little bit. To come in off the road and be gone for weeks and to open up that door and nobody sitting on the couch, it is no fun. It's just me, sex in the city, and Pornhub. And I'm about tired of it. Men just don't approach me. I mean, I have the gift of gab, but when it comes to pulling up on a dude, I have no game whatsoever. I'm just here to bless everyone. You did that? Yeah. Oh, you did that? I wanted to be in a situation where guys are forced to approach me. Somebody's gonna have to pull up on the kid. <laughs> Anointed. Oh, yes. lay hands yes. on me again. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Yes. Ooh. Divine was so divine. I mean, she was fine from the front to the behind. <laughs> My name is Christina J. Peterson. I haven't really been in a relationship since I became an attorney. Now, what type of law you practice? I do personal injury, criminal okay. defense, and business litigation. Oh, that's what I'm talking okay. about. You got to yeah. give me something on that. Yeah. Somehow, men seem to get intimidated when I kind of tell them that I'm an attorney. I haven't had an easy time finding a man who can be confident within himself with me. Brent. Nina. 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 Nice to meet you. Yeah. Pleasure. Nice, nice firm hands. Oh, I like that. Sure. I don't feel that there's any foolproof strategy, especially when it comes to dating. I just try to be true to myself. How does that skin feel? Is it soft? Oh, uh, very much so. 
What do you use? Hmm? What, do you, what, do you, what do you put on your uh, on your skin? Bacon grease. <laughs> I do want the opportunity to try to get to know as many women as possible. And in this type of environment, you know, closed mouths don't get fed. Hey, well, double fist. What is water? <laughs> How are you? I'm Aisha. I'm Brent. Very nice to meet you. That's my type. That's my type. He just looked like he tastes like Hennessy. And I don't even drink Hennessy. <laughs> You okay. look yes. good. Well, thank you. I, I, I... And I, I yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are the epitome of that. <laughs>have or play by any dating rule book. I do what feels good to me. I am pretty aggressive and I can get a conversation going with just about any guys. I'm also assessing my competition with the ladies, but I didn't see much of them as a threat or competition. Where are you originally from? Metro Detroit. Well, I'm from Kansas City, so we can see through bullshit. Oh, about yeah. the way, and right? twice on Sunday. Oh, and twice on Sunday. Hey, absolutely. <laughs> Mike, I like the dress, look nice. This, this mansion, this whole environment is super, super sexy. I'm ready to find me a man, so <laughs> I'm just rubbing my hands together. So what meal you cook for a king? He can get whatever he want, honey. The same And me on the platter. Really? Oh, no, no. Nah. Oh, that's my dessert there, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm an empty nester now. I've always put my daughter first, and now that she's out of the house and she's in college, mama got to play, too. <laughs> ATL! Yeah. Come on, baby! Oh, <laughs> gather around, gather around! What's going on, nephew? Ooh, we got another good looking group of people from the ATL. Hey! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That can't find a relationship. Oh, oh that's true. true. Putting yourself out there and taking the steps to find love can be difficult. But the best thing about this process is each one of you came here for the right reasons. You're tired of the games. I'm sick and tired. Mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get real. What's the problem out here? Women in Atlanta say the men, they just want to play the field. Yeah. But check it out now. The men in Atlanta say you ladies are more interested in the size of their wallet mm -hmm. than the size of their heart. Wow. Yeah. That's a fact. Y'all just hit the lotto, because Ready to Love is back. <laughs> And this time, things are gonna be different. For you ladies, we've evened things out. Today, standing here, we have one woman for every one man. Wow. That's right, 10 and 10. It's a miracle. I'm glad it's an even playing field. Well, I'm open to finding love. I mean, I'm just open. I mean, just open like the 7-Eleven, like the Waffle House open, 24 hours open. Some of y'all have been married. Engaged. Some of y'all like some of these houses around here. You've been on the market for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's time to put your cards on the table, face up, and finally find what you're looking for. Through this process, you will not be alone. I'm gonna be here with you, and I know a thing or two about that Mary J real love. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, take a look at the people standing next to you. Not everyone you see today will reach the end of this process. By the end, only six people will remain. The three couples who found love. So y'all ready to get this party started? Right here. Yeah! It's time to mix, mingle, and bring your A game. Because two of you will not be making it past tonight. What? Wow. 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 Someone is going to go home. But I see all these different guys, and I'm like, only competition I got is myself. Ooh. I wanted to, like, almost, like, shadow box, like, yeah, ladies, I'm making connections, and y'all better watch out. Let's raise our glasses, and let's show the ATL that you are RTL. Ready, Ready to, to love. love. Oh. Shamuka. Like Chica, for short. What does Shamuka mean? It means uh, my spirit, and it means gifted, greater than any other. I, I, I wasn't born to lose, so as a winner, you come in a room, I feel like I own that room. Man, I got a little hood in me, though, but don't do that for you. Personality-wise, I talk a lot of oh, Where you from? I'm from Mobile, Alabama. Oh, you country? Country, country. <laughs> you cook country? Oh, all day. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute, you wait. 
Wait, you don't gotta be country to know how to cook? Didn't say that. <laughs> All you gotta do is be hungry to know how to cook. That's nah, true. that's not true. Yeah. That's not true. Yes. That's baby. not true. You have to do a little bit of reading. A no, bit of measuring. no, baby. Christina, she's the attack dog, you know, but her body is banging. You know what I'm saying? Outside of that, I don't know much about her, but the body is banging. What is your specialty? Everything. No, 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 no. Everybody has a specialty. Everything. Okay. Hey, what's going Those on? Those killing me right now, though. Are they? Yeah, I need to smile a little bit for you. Yeah, yeah, they're Give killing me. Give me something me. to smile about. Oh, yeah? I'm getting a whole lot. Alexis. I'm like, man, Tony Braxton. Little mini Tony. <laughs> I might need to take you on a quick excursion oh, let's real go. quick. Let's, let's get out of here. I need to get with her real quick, fast, and in a hurry, because this shark's in bloody water, and I'm not playing any games. All right, now I'm going to hold you. OK. I love someone who could make a woman smile, can take a woman by her hand, and pull her away from the crowd. London commanded my attention, and I appreciate that in a man. Why don't you catch me if I fall? I got you. OK. I got you. <laughs> hey, dear. Hello. I'm well. Good. You look nice. Cheers. I've known Chica for a few years. We were introduced by mutual friends. That is my boy. We're like this. We've always looked at each other as genuine friends. On my end, I never thought about crossing the line, you know what I'm saying? So to be in this environment, we are kind of like Batman and Robin, so to speak. Dude, First I have try. no game. I'll pull up like, hey, boo, how you doing? No, it's not going to work. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Chica, he's super blunt. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. If you tell me I have food in my teeth, just kind of, you know, put a little sugar, a little honey on it. Don't just be like, girl, you looking crazy. Did you brush your teeth this morning? That's Chica. I can't do it. How about you tell me who you like for me? Pick me I'm some on, good ones. Okay, I'm gonna give you a good ones. Like, I'm looking for love. Oh, some real dude with the white shirt on. Oh, we had a conversation about alkaline water, and it was sexy. So you like that? I like that, yeah. I'm Big L. Big he, Daddy Blue. He funny. I know who I like for you. Black dress. Yeah, I like her. I think she would soften you up a bit. Okay. And the great makeup face. Right there? Yes. Yeah, sure you're fine, though. If you could choose one to go on a date with for today, who would you choose to go on a date with? Big Daddy Blue. And I'll probably take Shorty with the all black on. She's all in my man's face. Ooh, she giving him the smile. We might need to break that up, though. I would love to be submissive mm -hmm. for a man. So what'd you say? You think I'm aggressive? Very. I love that. I love that. Time is of the essence. You it need is, to step though. up, because everybody's stepping up, so. Oh, I'm about to go in in a minute. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to know that, you know, you got my heart now. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it right here. Ah, uh, Jimmy, is Alexis going to be my competition? You got 10 handsome brothers Listen, over there. Listen, I'm a little overwhelmed. One of you gentlemen ends your journey right now. You want a unicorn or something, like a throwback jersey. Is that not true? Oh, I'm a unicorn. Yeah, you... I don't exist. Oh, OK. Yeah. Ooh, she giving him the smile. We might need to break that up, though. We about to go break it up in a minute. It is a plus having my wingman here for me because I want to talk with London. All How right, go get your girl. Chica, go handle that. Break that up for me. Yo, oh, I'm going to give you Devon a right We're going to go there, and you're going to let me come here then. We're going to rotate. What do you mean, rotate? No, I'm missing. <laughs> In the back of my mind, I'm like, Alexa, she looking really good. Hey. But I also had my eye on Divine. So I'm like, sure, why not? What's your longest relationship? 10. OK. Yeah. yeah. I think You're my good. longest was we, six years. What happened? We almost made it to marriage. But I think one day, um, I remember just out the clear blue saying, Hey, if you were to propose to me today, I'm not sure that I would say yes. But you've been with him for six years. Trust me. I know. I feel like I was head of household, and I was getting old, and he was a dreamer. Like, and that's the sad part when it comes to, like, you can know a good dude, but he's just not a good man right now. I yeah. think that was the case. Okay. And that's all there is. He actually, he got married. Probably got everything. To, well, hopefully, Maybe. he got everything Maybe. I, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no. Still the same guy, just dressed up. It's, right. it's a painted turd. Oh. Yo, she basically put down her ex. When you put your ex down, it kind of leaves room to believe that, OK, if we did this and that, it's a possibility you could do the same thing to me. So I did not like that at all. 
Can you cook? Oh, absolutely. Wait oh, a second. Ooh, I mean, we started to talk about food. We're on my subject. Black eyed peas, greens. I mean, we, we go to the pork chops, mother pork chops. Mother pork chops? Rice. Let everyone. me see your hand. I just want you to feel something. Do you feel that? That's my heart beating fast. Because I feel it when too. you said smothered pork chops, it skipped a beat. Do you oh, feel yeah. it? Yeah. I love you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Some of the strongest impressions I've had is Alexis and Divine. And it's kind of hard to really compare them because they're two completely different people. And I'm kind of torn right down the middle. I feel like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I'm the jelly. I'm looking at this waist you got going What are you talking about? Up. What waist? Uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Girl, you better stop. I got on four waist trainers. When you undo this, it's yeah. gonna pop open like a yeah, can of biscuits. Right. You look good right now. <laughs> London is just, he's just looking so good. We had such a good time. I mean, I really feel like we have a connection. Hopefully, I can turn it more into a romantic situation. I'm Jay. What's Hi, up, Jay. How you doing, my brother? Nice to How meet you. How you doing? I'm doing good. I didn't try finding women in the church. I didn't try finding them in a business setting. I didn't try finding them even at a gas station. And guess what? I run into the same type. They got a wall up, they guard it, they look at me as a player, a hustler. Anything that's negative. How are you? I'm good, how are you? So you're a Georgia peach? No. No, you know, I think you gotta be born here to be a Georgia peach. Mm -hmm. So I see you eyeing my chicken. You wanna get you a piece? You know what, I just had two. Let me get you a piece? No, no. Cause you looking at it like. I mean, come on, all of this in front of you and you're looking at my chicken? When it comes to love, it's four levels I look at. I could like you, I could love you, I could be in love with you, but the key is unconditional love. I'm on that unconditional love. Okay. Nobody trying to love each other unconditionally. Okay. Real love and unconditional love ain't about none of that. You want somebody who's gonna love you for you. I'm a real king. Okay. Some of them was very guarded. I noticed a lot of them were very nervous. Maybe it's that king in me, you know? Maybe it's my presence. Let me, let me tell you something. You don't control love. You don't control your love box. I control it. <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think a lot of the ladies was feeling John. I think he was just trying to just sell himself too much. You, you is precious. Ooh. I'm directly in the sun. Well, you should be able to take the heat. Ooh. It's a lot of heat on this bench, baby. Ooh. I was about to Caliente. say. Caliente. Because if you can't take the heat, Ooh. then you got to get up out this Ooh. kitchen. Thank God for two hands. <laughs> Jimmy's funny. Funny steals my heart every time. Also, his mohawk isn't going unnoticed. I see the mohawk. The mohawk is loud and clear. He's cute. Come on. I feel like I should just take my Come shoes on. off. Got made dirt. A little bit of dirt don't hurt. Kimber, man, her personality is so great. She's such a positive person, and I did show her a little bit of extra attention, and I think that it kind of, kind of rubbed her the right way. Oh, let me see that. Let me see that. What? <laughs> Boy, you Come is on. a mess. Come on. The only person that raised a red flag with me was Jimmy Jones. Come over here. I want to get to know you. <laughs> he was laying it on extra thick, and that'll kind of, you know set someone back and have them look at them, you know, with the side eye a little bit. You looking all snazzy. Oh, I'm a reflection of what I see. Come on now. I am an equal opportunity employer. And the one person that definitely caught my attention from the beginning was Alexis. I mean, she gave me butterflies. I love your eyes, man. Oh, thank you. They're amazing. Do I have a staring contest? Yes. I'm a you blink, I'm a you blink. <laughs> Jimmy has a great personality, so at this point, he has my attention. So how long you been single? Two years. I'm about a year and a half, so yeah. OK. Alexis is undoubtedly very beautiful, and I didn't want to come off too thirsty, but I gave her a token. I felt like she was the one that I was going to be pursuing. I just wanted you to know that, you know, you got my heart now. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it right here. Ooh. Now, if I find out if you showed up today with 10 hearts, no, I'm going to feel it a type one. of way. I noticed that Jimmy was being super flirty with Alexis. Like, uh, Jimmy, what's going on? Is Alexis going to be my competition? It's being for you. Coming up. Sex is important. And if it's not good, 
something, it's a wrap. So all you care about is sex? No, that's, that's not, not what I said. said. I'm sorry, y'all, I apologize. After speaking with all the ladies, the gentleman that's just not ready to love is. So you got kids? I have a son. He's 15 years old. You have 15 year old kids? How old are you? I'm 35. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me get this way. Thank you. Darren. He's tall, he's handsome. So I'm like, work it, Shima, work it. You got any children? I do. I have one son, he's 10. So how's the relationship with him and his dad and you and his dad? We have a wonderful co-parenting relationship. That's what's up. And it takes time to get there. It didn't happen overnight. I wish all of that that you said applied to me. <laughs> oh, now your son 15 years old. What y'all got the beef about? Well, it ain't that it's a beef. The main thing that's going on with us is I don't think she understands that it's a, it's a position or a point by there was only certain things I could learn from my dad. You feel right. me? Right, 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 right. Ashima, I would say, definitely caught my eye uh, from the start. We were having a real genuine conversation, and I was happy to see that initially just meeting somebody. I want to say go along with what she says, right. but sometimes you have to make people feel like it's their idea. <laughs> that's that's oh, how I trick my baby daddy. You know you're exposing yourself to me right now, right? Oh, OK, yeah. <laughs> <I'm playing> with... <laughs> she is funny and pretty as well, so I'm looking forward to spending some time with her. I mean, would you agree this is whole I don't need a man movement oh, going on right yeah, now? And let me tell you something. I am the one that is not in the I don't need a man movement. Oh, that's, well, give me a hug. I don't even want to take the trash out. That's I need up. a man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not stingy. But, oh. I, but I am frugal. Oh. But I, I mean, I'm a little bougie too, man. Well, either you frugal or you bougie. Oh, I could. Ain't no such thing as budget bougie. How come it ain't? You can't Well, it is, because I'm budget bougie. Exactly. My name is Mario. I'm a tax accountant. And I'm, I'm a charmer. I'm Nina. Mario. Nice to meet you, you Mario. Too. I like your hat, though. Thank you. I, I like appreciate that. it. Mario, he is very handsome, charming, warm, beautiful smile. I'm nervous. That's how you enjoy yourself so far. It's going. I'm glad you're here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a little bit challenging to mingle. I really didn't know where to start. I'm looking for a husband. How old were you when you got married, and why did you get married? I was 29. On? Was it because it was a shotgun wedding? Whoa, hold up. I mean, I don't even know your last name yet, so I mean, hold up. I hope you find your husband. Thank you. Thank you. You keep that smile now. <laughs> Let's be honest. I mean, sex is important in a relationship. Damn right. For me, it's, it's the difference between us making it and us not. So you said all you care about is sex? No, no that's not what you no, said. You're not listening. No. That's important. what you just said, though. No, that's, that's not, not what, what you said. said. I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. I apologize. I said that sex is important, and if it's not good, then yes, it's a wrap. I heard something about some sex around here. Man, you got to sit down here. I heard some sex around here. Hold on. Because I've evolved so much mentally, yeah. it's a, a connection has it to be It makes a difference when you're having an wow. orgasm or not. Everybody's talking about sex. So I'm like, hold on, this is going to be interesting. What I'm hearing is lust and sex is controlling these women. And that's the reason why they're in this situation. This is how I look at it. You in your lane, I'm in my lane. But. I'm celibate for two years, so huh? my thing what? is that. Really? Oh, yeah. Hey! I'll take my hat off to you if I had one. Nobody likes this cow, though. He's been celibate hey, for two, two years. Two years. You just probably shouldn't have said that so fast, John. You should have waited to the third mix with John. Don't tell me we ain't doing it off the rip, John. Hey, two years, does it work? Coming up, remember when I told you this time around things were going to be different? I got some news for you. We ain't quite done yet. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to front. Anybody got a trophy? Two years. Somebody like his cow, though. He's been selling this for two years. Two years. No, I think Hey, two years, does it work? I love you, John. But as soon as you told me you were selling me for two years, I was Speedy Gonzalez. Meet me. Good to see you, John. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. The only way I was able to do it because of my spiritual side. Right. Yeah. All right. So it's a, you reap what you sow. We do. Say, Vince, I'm going to pursue you, pursue you, pursue you. And I know in my spirit and my mind that I'm playing a game. If I damage you, damage you, and damage you, he going to make me pay. 
So I hold myself to a high level of accountability. So what does sex look like for you the next time when you do have it? When I'm married? Mm. Okay. okay. You my wife? <laughs> I'm gonna be your freak. I'm gonna be everything you want me to be. I think that John is very intelligent and in letting us know this is what I'm here for. This is what I believe. I'm celibate, and here are my reasons why. And I really respected that. Hey, hey, hey! Good. I'm gonna break this up a little bit. I'm gonna holler at Ashima and Nina. I'm gonna ask the rest of y'all to step out. Right. Okay. All right. All right. And I'm gonna step oh, in. I'm gonna talk I to feel these like ladies. I'll right. be dealing with y'all later. Mr. Bell, right. I the know. The office right now. What you know about Save by the Bell, girl? What you know about, about it? Right. <laughs> so I want to just talk with y'all for a minute. Okay. Yeah. You know, you got 10 handsome brothers Listen, over there. Listen, this is so different for me. I'm single mom. I'm a little overwhelmed. So let me ask you this then. Yes. Who are you feeling right now? Mario. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Chocolate milk duh, yes. Lickable <laughs> candy, right? Darren. I'm gonna come check you out. That's the one me and her all around yeah, playing on, huh? I mean, we classy, so we ain't gonna fight yeah, physically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who are you feeling right now? I would say Brent. So handsome. I like that. That salt, salt pepper thing. Pepper, happening. honey. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> we'll be Brent. London. Okay. Big guy. Big guy. Yeah. Who I would be normally attracted to would be London. London and Jimmy. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor. I said London and Mike. Miss Aisha? You know, he just gives me that. He was like, oh, Determination, huh? Yes. I'm feeling Jimmy. All right. Who you not feeling? Mm. OK. Carrie. I'll be right back. <laughs> Carrie seemed like he would be like one of my daddy friends. John. What is it about John? There isn't anything it's about it John. Is, it that's is, it, that's it. it. He doesn't stand out to me at all. I could get with old boy with the celibacy thing, but I'm not going to marry you if we hadn't had sex. Mm -hmm. I'm going to test drive that car for yeah. I buy it. You're going to change them gears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tap. Hit the gas again. Try it now. <laughs> <laughs> Who aren't you feeling right now? I'm going to say Darren. Jimmy. Give me the why on Jimmy. It's leather, leather. Ooh. Fire. He's just giving me used car salesman vibes. It's Jimmy. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I know I'm not going to take him. Yeah. OK. I'm here to find love. I ain't got time to be playing with you. So let's just go and put it all on the table and see what we're going to do. We rocking or not. If not, then it's probably time for someone to go home. All right, baby. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Right, Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a very interesting evening so far. Ladies, yeah. do you like what you see? Yeah. 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 I mean, there's plenty of potential here, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, time has come for our first difficult decision. Somebody's got to go home. Someone's definitely going home. I didn't come all the way this way to get eliminated. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I think I made some good impressions. So I'm just hoping it's not me. At this point, a lot of this is based on first impressions. So we're about to find out who made a good one and who came up short. Oh, my God, please don't eliminate somebody that I like. <laughs> this is finally my chance, and I need them here. All right, Mario and London, you clearly aren't going anywhere. Yeah! <laughs> These ladies have you high on their list. I appreciate it, ladies. Thanks for having confidence in your boy. She's at it, she's at it. Not to sound cocky or anything, but I felt like I was pretty safe. I felt like I was OK, you know, after talking to all the ladies and surveying my competition. Now it's time for the tough part. John, Jimmy, one of you handsome gentlemen ends your journey right here, right now. Man, I hope I don't go home. I hope they ain't finna send me home. And I said this is especially tough because we just got to know each other. I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna front. After speaking with all the ladies, the gentleman that's just not ready to love is. After speaking with all the ladies, the gentleman that's just not ready to love is. John. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
John. Thank you so much for being a part of this experience. Everyone here, brother, wishes you the best luck in finding love. She might not be here tonight. That lucky lady is somewhere in your future, man. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Wow. You mean to tell me every last one of those women I was being genuine with select me to go home? Maybe these women didn't recognize a real king. So I want to go home so I could go ahead and find my queen. That wasn't easy, people. But I got some news for you. We ain't quite done yet. Good lord. Remember when I told you this time around things were gonna be different? I'm a man of my word. Yeah. This season, not only is there an even amount of women and men in this group, there's an even amount of power. Every time we eliminate someone from one sex, we're gonna follow up and eliminate from the opposite sex. Oh. Wow. Hey, ladies. How you doing? We're going back and forth between men and women until our final three couples remain. Let me tell you what you're gonna do. Y'all gonna head back into this party. Later, we gonna find out which one of you isn't making it past tonight. Oh my God, now I could be eliminated. It made me sober up really, really fast. Like, you better make some connections with people who are actually really here to love. This is gonna be fun this time. <laughs> this was long. I am here to meet somebody. I am here to date. Please. Don't send me home. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna talk to y'all later tonight. Ladies, I love y'all. Okay, we love right. you too. Bye, Tandy. Oh my gosh. Tandy, you better go out there and meet these men. Let them see who you are. You gotta get on it, sis. Oh my God. Oh Lord. I haven't talked to you yet. How you doing? I want to know what you are about. After Tommy made the announcement that the women were also going to be eliminated, I noticed that some of the women were being a little more aggressive. What are you looking for? I mean, overall, just somebody that I can deal with in life, um, that we can... Do you want towards. marriage? Yeah, for sure. I'm planning marriage and then kids. I can understand that completely. Yeah. Attorneys, by and large, are really, really aggressive. And that's fine. I'm not here to judge that, but that's not remotely who I am or what I'm looking for. And you want more kids? I don't want any more. It all depends, really. You can get a possible one out of me. I, I want two kids, so you don't want that. Oh. My baby got to come out a full genius. You got to be careful who you have kids with. I, I really hope you get what you want. Dang. Ugh, Christina, she is really interrogating men about having two children. I don't know if she has her attorney hat on, but she's kind of pushy there. I wouldn't say that I have a type, mm -hmm. but you very, very, very close to it. The caramel goddess yes. got you trapped in. Oh, OK, 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 OK. <laughs> I see you. That's what's up. So if I jump in this pool, you're going to be right behind me, actually. Oh, well, I don't know about <laughs> I see you got them dimples. Thank you very much. Really pretty. <laughs> well, you. handsome. I take thank you. Thank you. Glad you're here. Yeah. Today has been a challenge for me. I've never dated more than one guy at a time, so it's overwhelming. I came here looking for love, but at the same time, it's like I really don't feel like there's interest towards me. Why? So it's, I just don't. I'm used to kind of being the center dub. It's me and one guy. It's just me and him. But it's 10 other women, too. So it's kind of like, all right, we done next. You're used to reassurances. That's all. You no, know, I'm just used to, if I'm talking to a man, one. it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Boom, we exchange the numbers, we going out. But every man you talk to one-on-one -on -one is not guaranteed. This is true. So that's all this is. This is true. It's just 10 different men with no guarantees. Hey, hey, hey. Mario, what's going all on, right, you good? I'm good. Hi. Beautiful, Miss Divine. Yeah. Come on, baby, step up a minute. I'm going to let you go be pretty somewhere. Bye, guys. Think about me. All right, think about me. <laughs> London. Yes, sir. How y'all doing, man? All right, not too bad. Y'all good? Yes, sir. Who you feeling right now? 
Man, I'm feeling Alexis. <laughs> man, we're gonna have to arm wrestle, man, straight up. Oh, I'm yeah? feeling Alexis as well. Who else? I mean, Devon. Do you feel that? You know, I'm wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> Brent, how about you? Uh, Devon. I like Aisha a lot. They look like this in uh, Detroit? Yes, they do. Oh, OK. I think Aisha's pretty dope, too. Ashima number one. <laughs> it's just a real solid connection. Alexis and Reba. <laughs> Alexis got my heart. I gave it to her. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it right here. Ooh. So you deep in Alexis. You can't be too deep, because I'm, yeah. I'm OK. I'm, I'm deep. Right around. I'm deep before I found out all the guys liked it. But now, I'm going at it like 900, huh? <laughs> Competition, dog. OK. Who you not feel? If I had to choose someone, I would say Kimber. Have you approached her? Absolutely. I don't think we ever had a chance to really converse. We haven't. We haven't talked at all. Alexis. Still the same guy, just stressed up. It's a painted turd. Ow. She rubbed me the wrong way. Nina, just that chemistry. I'm all about that energy. Shima and Nina. She looks like my youngest sister. Ah, OK. Uh, Shima. OK. And Christina. Really? Just not my type. I would say Christina. Christina. For us, it, it just can't work. Wait, wait, I get to throw one more in there? You want to throw another one in there? Yeah, yeah. Come I on, one in the pot. Come on. Uh, Shima. We in church. <laughs> <laughs> I look at her as the homegirl. Yeah. We wouldn't date. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. Saying? So no, she wouldn't work. I get it. Because that's my number one. I don't know what he's talking about. Apparently, I am looking for something different than the other guys. On a scale of 1 to 10, off of initial impressions, I would say I'm feeling Ashima about a 10. She can't be sent home. Woo! <laughs> this is the real table I see. I just see you as my homie versus me seeing you as someone I would potentially date. Nobody came here to make friends. It's time to really get down to the nitty gritty. And if I don't feel something with you, it's time for you to go ahead on home. So listen, we're going to wrap up in a minute. See what we got on the table, all right? Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. a minute, baby. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Hey! hey. That's what we just said. Tommy said that one of the ladies is going home, and at this point, I'm just really hoping that it's not a Shima. We've just had a genuine connection from the start, and it would just be devastating to me at this point if she was to be sent home. Time has come for our final decision of the night. This time, it's in the hands of the men. Whoa. This ain't never easy, right? Ah, uh, this is real. It's a possibility, boo. You might be going home. I sat down with each of the men and found which of the ladies they were feeling and which ones weren't a great match? I'm not ready to go home. I just got here. I just started. Like, my anxiety is through the roof right now. Alexis and Devon, you were some of the most popular ladies in the house. Okay. Clearly, you got something going on. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I wasn't surprised. Those are gorgeous ladies. Hell, I was looking, too. <laughs> I'm like, yes. It's all of the women that I had a connection with. But I'm starting to realize a lot of people have a connection with Alexis and Divine. But I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Now it's time for the tough part. Nina, Christina, one of you ladies ends your journey here tonight. For me, it wasn't a surprise. Did I like it? No. It sucks. It's not the easiest thing for me to mix and mingle. Now I could be going home tonight. I'm nervous. So after speaking with all of the men, the lady that's just not ready to love is. Christina, it's time for you to head home. Hey. It's OK. Thank you so much for being a part of this process, oh, darling. Baby. You know what? I respect y'all for not wasting my time. Thank you for management. Nina, congratulations. Thank you. You will continue this journey. I was sad to see her go. At the same time, better Christina than Nina. This was the eye opener for me. I was like, you know what, Nina? You really need to be here. You need to be present, and you need to be focused. All right, everybody, you know how this works. This season, the power to eliminate shifts back and forth between the women and the men. The men are no longer always in control. Everyone better bring their best, because you can never get too comfortable.
Make moves, open yourselves up, and create the connection that you've been looking for. Let's prove once and for all that Atlanta is ready to love. Thank you. We'll see y'all later. This season on Ready to Love. You a king, right? I most definitely am a king. Oh, okay. Looking for my queen. Baby, you're my magic carpet like I'm Jasmine. I ain't coming up single. I'm coming up mingling. You better act like it's a privilege. I'm struggling, man. I'm here to find the right person. I'm your final journey like a pilgrimage. I got you pinned down. You ain't going nowhere. You know, I got the lock on you. You about to get a locksmith to get that lock off. <laughs> I just got one question. Why are you so fine? Girl, stop. These men have no idea what's ahead. I mean, this tension between us is so thick, you can cut it with a <laughs> knife, man. Like, damn, bring the knife, bring the knife. May the best woman win. And next thing you know, we were kissing. So what? because you put your tongue in a man's Wait. mouth, and he still gave you his ass to kiss. That's why you're in your feelings. The best way to make this decision is to make sure your next move is your best move. Life is hard, trying to juggle I mean, all of these fine-ass men. I need you to focus on us. I am focused on us. I ain't got an insecure bone in my body, but what I don't have in my body is a goddamn fool. If she want to put it all out there, we going to put it all out there. And I mean all out there. Let it rip. Commitment. That's a concept you think you're ready for? I apologize, because I don't want to jeopardize this for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Don't even watch, because you can't even handle it, baby. I want to know what's for dessert. Chocolate. It's time to find out if a new group of dynamic singles from Atlanta are truly ready to love. <laughs>